Welcome back to Living in Granberry and Beyond. We are out in the orchards today, and we're gonna take a look at the pros and cons of living in the new orchard development here in Pecan Plantation. If this is your first time to the channel, we really appreciate you tuning in to today's episode about the orchards. As always, we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you. They're thinking about relocating to Pecan Plantation, retiring here in Pecan Plantation, and they're doing some research and they're trying to find out if this is gonna be the good fit for them. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love the chance to connect with you and answer any questions that you may have. And also, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, press that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about any updates and changes here in Pecan Plantation. As you know, Pecan Plantation is an enormous neighborhood. Uh, well over 3,000 homes are currently available. It should be over 4,000 within a couple years. Uh, so lots of different areas, taste for whatever you're looking for, you can get it. The Orchards has a very peculiar um, offering for folks that want to have a very nice property. A lot of new homes being built, high-end homes, 2,500 plus square foot typically, and uh, smaller yards, less upkeep. So we're sitting out here today uh, in front of the village. And the reason we're in front of the village is because the orchards is directly across from the village area in Pecan Plantation. So I'm here in front of the sign here, uh, the village. Behind me, you have Ace Hardware right down here. You have Pecan Foods that is here with the gas station. And if I turn to my left, there's the orchards. All right, so it is directly across from the village at Pecan Plantation. And it is uh, a neighborhood where a lot of new construction is being built. Uh, Kudo, Ryko, and other builders are building some very nice homes. We're gonna do a vlog tour where we're gonna look at four of those homes, maybe five, and, um, and, and highlight the price points, the, the offerings. That way you can see what these properties are, what they're priced at, and, uh, and you can go from there. So what are the pros and cons of living in the orchards? Well, the pro is you're right here in the center of Pecan. You have quick access to the front gate, quick access to the back gate, quick access to the gas station. If you wanna go to the pack, you're right here. Go swimming, basketball court, uh, pickleball courts are, are directly across from the orchard. So you have a very good location and you have access to all these amenities that are very conveniently located. You could walk to the pool, literally. You could walk to Pecan Foods. You could walk to Deja Brew and grab a cup of coffee and a pastry in the morning and it wouldn't take you, you know, two, three minutes to get there. Uh, so very conveniently located. Highly recommend the, uh, the location. It's great. Um, also, the, one of the pros, new construction. These homes are being built. They're very uh, energy efficient. And, uh, and you know, some of the homes out here in Pecan can be 20, 30, 40 years old. These are gonna be brand new homes built within, you know, some of the older parts of the orchard, maybe 2021 um, and, and, and newer. So the, the area is very new, very energy efficient, very modern style homes. Um, so that's an, another big pro of the neighborhood. What are some of the cons of living in the orchards? Well, um, you can't really see in the video, but most of the pecan trees are out here are dead. Um, all of the homes that are being built, I say all of them, the majority of them, don't have any mature trees in their yard, uh, especially in the newest part of the development, the brand new homes. All the trees are just being cut down. And some of the builders are actually planting some small sapling trees in the front yard in order to create, you know, the, that, that feature of having some nice trees eventually. Uh, so that's one big con. We've gotten a lot of complaints about people that are looking like, where are all the pecan trees? There's no trees, there's no mature trees. We want a, a uh, at least two or three trees in our yard uh, for shade and just for you know privacy curb appeal uh, so these are don't have that uh, so that's been one con another con for the orchards is the way the homes are structured and set up the back of each home is very close to the other one um, one of my clients joked that he could read his neighbor's newspaper um, you know while they're eating breakfast in the morning so he it, they're close on the back to back side um, which may not be an appealing uh, thing. So it's an exaggeration to say you could do that. Uh, so it's not that close, but you could certainly see each other through the, the window, you know, if, if you're eating breakfast, if there's not some sort of privacy set up. Um, a lot of the people here will have wrought iron fences and probably will have some sort of a drop down shade and stuff. So uh, there are some options for that, but they are stacked in pretty close together and there's not many trees in order to break that. 
So some people are talking about putting in some crepe myrtles and creating a barrier between maybe some bushes or, um, or things of that nature. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this looks in several years. Uh, but those are some pros and cons of the, the orchards area. Um, I have some drone footage that, uh, that I've gotten of the area in general. I wanna show that to you. I've drove around and, and uh, we've, we've gotten some, some pieces that I also wanna show you that. We're gonna do a Google map view where you can see kind of where the, the new development in the orchards is currently taking place. I can show you on a map and you can get a good bird's eye aerial view of that. And, uh, and also we're gonna do a vlog tour. So the vlog to tour, we're gonna go look at several homes that are currently on the market and you're gonna see where they're at, the price points, what you can get and what they're offering and see if it's maybe a good fit for you. So um, we're gonna go jump into that right now. All right, we're here in the office and we're gonna do a Google map evaluation of the orchard. So we've won at, we looked at the pros and cons uh, we've, uh, we have the vlog tour that's going to be coming out that's separate from this and we're going to go look at several properties that range anywhere from five fifty dollars all up to 700000 in the orchards uh, area. And, uh, and here we're going to just look at an aerial view of the general, the general layout. So we are, the properties we went and looked at are on Tremont, uh, the first two. There was one right here and then one was like right here. And then we drove down to Village and we looked at a property here and here. So those were the four properties that are going to be on the vlog tour. It's going to be right up in this area. This is the newer area of the orchards. Um, there are a lot of homes that are generally out in this area um, that are a part of kind of this, this the, the same feel uh, for properties. But as far as new construction goes, most of the most of the new construction is being done right here that's where most of the new construction in the orchards is being done um, so that would be kind of the main area that we're looking at now again um, the pecan foods is right here right, ac right across the street deja brew is here the gas station is going to be right in here obviously ace is right there um, the pack and the pool is right here uh, pickleball courts will be here, soccer ball, frisbee golf, basketball. Um, so you have all these activities. There's a little dog park and, uh, and a children's park that are all in this little location here. I mean, from here to here would take you literally three minutes to walk. It is, it is right there. You're very close to all of this. So this is, uh, this is kind of a bird's eye of what you can expect from the orchards area. I hope this pros and cons video um, was interesting. I hope it, you know, if you had any interest in something like this, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, you want me to do any more deep diving into this, just reach out to me, let me know. Love the chance to chat with your visit and uh, give you any advice that I can. So um, this is wrapping up the pros and cons video. This is gonna be it for the orchards. Um, we have the vlog tour that is coming out. We have the pros and cons, two videos on the orchards, that's it. And then we're gonna move on uh, we still have the video that we're going to do of Lipan and Bluffdale. Uh, so those are forthcoming. We're working on them. We hope to get that out to you here pretty soon. We also have some uh, videos of Brock that are going to be coming out as well. So a couple things that are in the, that are on the docket. If you have anything you want me to take a look at for you, let me know. And uh, we are also planning to do an updated foodies guide to Granberry. So we've got several other restaurants that we want to highlight and touch on uh, great places to eat around town uh, be looking forward to that as well and uh, yeah if we don't hear from you hope to see you around Granberry sometime